Hey everyone, Tracy here. And in today's video, I wanna show you how to add an indicator in TradingView. Let's take a look. All right, let's add an indicator to the chart. So you have your chart open. What you're gonna do is in the top middle section, you're gonna look for the effects button. It's the indicators and strategies button. You're gonna click on it. And then what you can do is type in any particular indicator that you're looking for. So let's type in RSI. And from there, you're going to see if you have any scripts written, obviously they're gonna be under my scripts, but you're looking for the built-ins. These are the ones that come with TradingView. And then below you have public library. These are scripts that have been written or indicators that have been written by individual users and submitted for our use. On the uh, indicator strategies tab on the left hand side, you're going to see favorites. This is anywhere that you've starred. So any of these stars that come up, if you select the star or add it, it'll add it to your favorites and that's where you'd find it. My scripts are any scripts that you've written. Built-ins, these are the indicators that come with TradingView. And you have the option to look for some candle patterns within TradingView as well. So if you select that, you can actually search for, let's say a hammer and you can use a hammer candlestick pattern, which you can see right here. Then there's the public library. These are all the indicators that are scripts that have been created and submitted by actual users. The volume profile, and then you've got invite only scripts. These are ones that you've been invited to or that you've paid for. They'll show up in this section right here. So let's go back to the RSI. Let's look for a built-in relative strength indicator. What you do is just click on it. That adds it to the chart. You can see it's been added to the chart right here. All right, and you can close that. If you wanna remove it from your chart, just highlight the actual indicator and you're gonna be brought up with another menu. Look for the X, that removes the indicator. The first button that you see here, this little um, eyeball, if you click on that, it hides it. The next button gets you into the customization settings and the brackets here get you into the source code. So if you click on that, that takes you down to the source code. If you understand Pine script, um, the X removes it. And then you've got a more button, which gives you a few other options. And I'll go into that in another video. So that's how you add an indicator on a trading view chart. If you found value in this video, please remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Till next time.